right? That's not going to work how I planned it. Okay, so I'm going to try and weld that and that. Smoking, baby! Actually, I'm going to try and save myself some time now and nip those off somewhere with the grinder. Greetings friends, it's very rainy, it is Wednesday, just a quick update on the wind turbine. This is the one kilowatt motor that's going in. I've just covered the bolts with some of that because I need to take off this and put the one that's on the three kilowatt uh, motor. I'm just going to show you what I've done the turbine side. Firstly, a major pain in the arse job that I'm very happy to get done was drilling these holes so that this, the motor frame can't move. Uh, so there, there's another one under there, I'm not sure you can see. Uh, so that's very good because that means we got rid of all these bolts and those things which are basically squeezing everything down. There's all the uh, chain and bits. Yeah, there, there's the chain, the three bits for the chain. Just there. Nice rusty colour. Look at that. Like camouflage. And that's the chain which is essentially 28 tooth on the drive shaft to 18 tooth on the motor. That's the 28 tooth gear. But with regards to this, it worked out quite well. Uh, what I ended up having to do was welding two bolts on this end, and we've got the bolt holes through that end. Uh, cutting, because this, this used to be here, so cutting that and re-welding it uh, is essentially, I think, the easiest way of doing it. It's the easiest way of doing it, so. Yeah, that should be fine. I'll just go show you the, it, with the motor in. So that there is obviously where the brake disc could go uh, if it was on a bike. Yeah, and this was a front wheel hub. If it's a rear one, uh, there's more space on one side because you have to put a cassette on. But that's the 20 tooth one. And I want to put the 18 tooth one from the three kilowatt uh, motor because that means I don't have to mess around with the chain. So here's the three kilowatt motor with the 18 tooth gear on. I'm gonna leave that 10 minutes and then I'll come back out and remove this and we'll get it on there. No messing with that thing. Whoops. Blackbirds, give me large. As you would if you sounded that beautiful. So that's it ready to basically go onto the turbine, hopefully. The wires are okay for now, but eventually they'll definitely need, uh, sorry, they'll definitely need replacing. But what we'll do is we'll set aside a time and we'll take the motor apart, order the bearings, uh, and while we're doing that we'll replace the wire. I just want to show you quite funny the difference in the thickness of the wires. There you go that shows you they're the three off the one kilowatt motor and that's one wire off the sorry yeah they're the three wires off the one kilowatt motor and there is one wire from the three kilowatt motor. I'm getting my threes and my ones it's getting very confusing you know what I mean three kilowatt big wire one kilowatt small wire. These are the bits I'll need to connect it. I need two of these. You'll notice I've skimmed some off the top of that one uh, because it wasn't fitting in properly. So they're the two things that will clamp the motor to the motor cage. And what you'll notice is that when it goes in like that, if it needs adjusting, then what we'll, we'll use slivers of metal in here. I'm just gonna show you a bolt as an example and, and that would create some space. But anyway, I'll, I'll mention that when it's on the uh, turbine. 
So that's how it sits in. And I just wanted to show you that it'll just happily sit there with no uh, bolts in because the turbine's on its side, obviously. Put the turbine up on the tower and that's why you need these. So on that side, one of those and then two M8 nuts. And then on this side, that'll go and then two bolts will go all the way through. I have to wait for my son to come around to put the blades on, which will be a day or two. There's going to be slit. There is some room, you'll notice, to move that backwards. Uh, that can go back another five mil, and that'll mean we should be clear with the chain gear. That is the 18 tooth one. And you'll notice uh, the one main difference is that on the other turbine, the wires came out the same side. They came out just there. But on this one, they come out the other side, which isn't a problem. It just means they need need to be routed round and then connected to the bit at the top of the tower. But yeah, that's, so that's the motor modification. Went very well, and in future, if I want to put the three kilowatt motor back in, uh, I'll just hack those off with a grinder as I did before and move it back. But as they say, the proof is definitely in the pudding and uh, it should be fine. But keep an eye out for the video when the turbine goes back up and it should all be cushy, but that's so much easier to turn than that three kilowatt motor. I reckon it's gonna be uh, an improvement. Cheers. So I'm, I've got the bolts on, so I can just show you, it's so much easier to turn than that three kilowatt one. Hear a little bit of juice? But yeah, that's good to go. Uh, see you in the next video where it should all be touch wood up in the air, hopefully. Cheers.